they had a seven point lead. They went for two. And this has been a big discussion at our group all day today. Go for two. Don't go for two. What do you think of the decision there, Tim, by Romeo Cornell to, to, to just go for it? Go for the win. I think it's the wrong decision at that point. And Rich Gannon, who was calling the game, who had a very good career as a quarterback in the NFL, felt the same way at the time. And that was before seeing the final result. And I was exactly where he was with it. Look, you are up seven at that point. You kick the extra point, it's eight points. You can't lose the game in regulation, basically, at that point. You can't. And I get this like, hey, we're playing to win thing. But you get two opportunities to stop a team. You get a chance to stop them from getting in the end zone. And then you get a chance on the two-point conversion, which, as we know, is no sure thing in the National Football League. Nicole, you referenced it about, you know, today kind of being the, the day of two-point conversions. Mm -hmm. They weren't all successful. So, would say most of them you know, weren't. when you look at it that way, yeah, no, and, and here's the deal. The other aspect of it is, and I think that this is where, and this isn't to, uh, you know, kind of deny analytics and their value because it exists, okay, and it's real. But, you know, you also have to think about this as a Titans team that had an injured left tackle at that point, that had lost their starting tight end at that point, that, you know, had turned the football over in two of their mm -hmm. previous, you know, I think four possessions at that point. There were a lot of things that were going the Titans, excuse me, the Texans way that would have led you to believe, like, listen, eight, we still might end up winning this football game just being up eight. I think you undersold Rich Gannon's reaction, by the way, because he was losing his mind. I probably did. Yeah. Nick, what do you think? Right well, or wrong listen, call? He, look, and he was right. I mean, I, I mean, plain and simple, he was right. <laughs> was he right? Well, I mean, myself, I would just kick the extra point and go up by eight because then you know your defense. I'm a defensive player, so I would hope that they had confidence that we could go out there and stop the team from going down and scoring and then having the two-point conversion to tie the game up. Um, but, look, every head coach understands their team. They know their roster. They know their strengths and their weaknesses. So maybe there just wasn't the confidence there in the defense just to say, hey, look, they're not they're going to be able to drive this this down the field. They're going to score. They're going to tie this up. And if they get the ball, you know, if they win the coin toss, it's over. So I even think you saw a little bit of the reaction at the coin toss mm -hmm. when they won the toss and they got the ball. It was like, OK, well, I guess this game's over. But, um, you know, I just think that the confidence there on that defensive side probably wasn't there. And that's why they wanted to go for two to put the nail in the coffin, so to speak. It, it is a thing that happened today. There were but, a lot of if I if I can't. No, if I can, Nicole, and I, like I think Rob is right. I think Rob is right. The difference is with this is you think about the context of the game. Early mm -hmm. on in the football game, Tennessee was having their way with the Texans. But then Taylor Lewan gets banged mm -hmm. up. Jonu Smith ends up leaving the football game. It's not the same team, you know, at that point. There was a, a sack fumble, um, you know, by J.J. Watt. Like, J.J. Watt started to have a real impact on that football game. I just think there at that point there was starting to be this feeling that, wait a second, like, the Texans came back, and part of the reason they came back is that defense was getting stops. And so with that in mind, I think that you kind of have to, if I'm Romeo Cornell, like that has to play into your decision. It obviously did not. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.